let us move on to the sixth exercise the first question is find 64 raised to the power of 1 by 2 32 raised to the power of 1 by 5 125 raised to the power of 1 by 3 now let us solve the first bit so the solution first bit given is to find 64 raised to the power of 1 by 2 as we know 64 is a perfect square 64 can be written as 8 times 8 which is equal to 8 raised to the power of 2 therefore 64 raised to the power of 1 by 2 is written as 8 square raised to the power of 1 by 2 as we know if a power is raised to a power then the exponents are to be multiplied since a power m whole power n can be written as a power m times n therefore 8 whole power 2 times 1 by 2 here the common factor 2 gets cancelled and we are remained with 8 power 1 which is equal to 8 therefore 64 raised to the power of 1 by 2 is equal to 8 now let us move on to the second bit of the question so the second bit given is to find 32 raised to the power of 1 by 5 now let us write 32 in its irreducible factors this can be written by finding the prime factors of 32 so 32 is 2 times 16 16 is 2 times 8 and 8 is 2 times 4 4 is 2 times 2 therefore the irreducible factors of 32 is 2 multiplied with itself 5 times therefore it is 2 raised to the power of 5 now we write 32 whole to the power of 1 by 5 as 2 raised to the power of 5 whole raised to the power of 1 by 5 as we know if a power is raised to a power then the exponents are to be multiplied since a power m whole power n can be written as a power m times n that is 2 power 5 times 1 by 5 therefore the common factor 5 gets cancelled and we are remained with 2 power 1 therefore 32 whole raised to the power of 1 by 5 is equal to 2 so now let us move on to the third bit of the question so the third bit is find 125 raised to the power of 1 by 3 first let us write 125 in its irreducible factors therefore we shall find the prime factors of 125 125 can be written as 5 times 25 and 25 is written as 5 times 5 therefore the irreducible factors of 125 are 5 times 5 times 5 which is 5 raised to the power of 3 therefore 125 raised to the power of 1 by 3 is written as 5 raised to the power of 3 whole raised to the power of 1 by 3 as we know if a power is raised to a power we need to multiply the exponents since a power m whole power n can be written as a power m times n therefore 5 raised to the power of 3 whole raised to the power of 1 by 3 is equal to 5 raised to the power of 3 times 1 by 3 here the common factor 3 gets cancelled and we are remained with 5 whole power 1 which is equal to 5 therefore 125 whole raised to the power of 1 by 3 is equal to 5 now let us move on to the second question of the exercise the second question is find 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2 32 raised to the power of 2 by 5 16 raised to the power of 3 by 4 and 125 raised to the power of minus 1 by 3 so let us first solve the first bit 
The first bit is to find 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2. First, we shall write 9 in its irreducible factors. Therefore, the prime factors of 9 are 3 and 3, as 9 can be written as 3 times 3. Therefore, 3 times 3 can also be written as 3 square. Therefore, 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2 can be written as 3 square whole power 3 by 2. As we know, if a power is raised to a power, then we need to multiply the exponents. Since a power m whole power n can be written as a power m times n. Therefore, 3 square whole power 3 by 2 can be written as 3 power 2 times 3 by 2. Here, the common factor 2 gets cancelled and we are remained with 3 whole power 3. So, 3 whole power 3 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 times 3 is 27. Therefore, 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2 is equal to 27. Now let us move on to the second bit of the question. So the second bit is to find 32 raised to the power of 2 by 5. So first let us write 32 in its irreducible factors. So we shall find the prime factors of 32. 32 can be written as 2 times 16. 16 is written as 2 times 8. And 8 is written as 2 times 4. 4 is written as 2 times 2. Therefore 32 is written as 2 multiplied with itself 5 times which is 2 raised to the power of 5 therefore 32 raised to the power of 2 by 5 is written as 2 raised to the power of 5 whole raised to the power of 2 by 5 as we know if a power is raised to a power then we need to multiply the exponents since a power m whole power n is written as a power m times n. Therefore, 2 power 5 raised to the power of 2 by 5 is equal to 2 whole power 5 times 2 by 5. Here, the common factor 5 in the exponent gets cancelled and we are left over with 2 whole power 2 which is 2 times 2 gives 4. Therefore, 32 raised to the power of 2 by 5 is equal to 4. Now let us move on to the third bit of the question. So the third bit given is to find 16 raised to the power of 3 by 4. We shall first write 16 in its irreducible factors. That is, we shall find the prime factors of 16. 16 can be written as 2 times 8 and 8 is written as 2 times 4. 4 is written as 2 times 2. Therefore, 16 can be written as 2 multiplied with itself 4 times. That is 2 raised to the power of 4. Therefore, 16 raised to the power of 3 by 4 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 4 whole raised to the power of 3 by 4. If a power is raised to a power, then we need to multiply the exponents since a power m whole power n is written as a power m times n. Therefore, 2 raised to the power of 4 whole raised to the power of 3 by 4 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 4 times 3 by 4. The common factor 4 in the exponent gets cancelled and we are remained with 2 raised to the power of 3 which is 2 times 2 times 2 which is equal to 8. Therefore, 16 raised to the power of 3 by 4 is equal to 8. Now let us move on to the fourth bit of the question. So the question is to find 125 raised to the power of minus 1 by 3. So let us write 125 in its irreducible factors. Therefore, we shall find the prime factors of 125. 125 is written as 5 times 25. 25 is written as 5 times 5. Therefore, 125 is equal to 5 times 5 times 5, which is 5 raised to the power of 3. Therefore, 125 raised to the power of minus 1 by 3 is equal to 5 raised to the power of 3 
all raised to the power of 1 by 3. If a power is raised to a power, then we need to multiply the exponents. Since a, a power m whole power n is written as a power m times n. That is 5 raised to the power of 3 whole raised to the power of minus 1 by 3 is equal to 5 raised to the power of 3 times minus 1 by 3. The common factor 3 in the exponent gets cancelled and we are remained with 5 whole power minus 1 which is also called 5 whole inverse. Therefore, this is the reciprocal of 5 that is 1 by 5. Therefore, 125 whole raised to the power of minus 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 5. Now let us move on to the third question of the exercise. The question is simplify 2 raised to the power of 2 by 3 times 2 raised to the power of 1 by 5. 1 by 3 cube whole raised to the power of 7. 11 raised to the power of 1 by 2 divided by 11 raised to the power of 1 by 4. 7 raised to the power of 1 by 2 times 8 raised to the power of 1 by 2. So now let us first take the first bit. So the first bit is simplify 2 raised to the power of 2 by 3 times 2 raised to the power of 1 by 5. As we know when we are multiplying two exponents with like bases we can directly add their powers that is a power m times a power n can be written as a power m plus n. Therefore, 2 raised to the power of 2 by 3 times 2 raised to the power of 1 by 5 is written as 2 raised to the power of 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5. So now we add the powers 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5. That is 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5 can be added by taking a common denominator that is LCM of 3 and 5. As we know 3 and 5 are prime numbers. LCM of 3 and 5 is 3 times 5 which is 15. So we shall convert 2 by 3 into its equivalent rational number that is with a common denominator 15. So for this we multiply 2 by 3 with 5 on both the numerator and denominator. So we get 2 times 5 is 10 by 3 times 5 is 15. Now let us also convert 1 by 5 into its equivalent rational number by multiplying with 3 on both the numerator and denominator. This gives 1 times 3 is 3 by 5 times 3 is 15. So now we add the equivalent rational numbers that is 10 by 15 plus 3 by 15. Since both the rational numbers have common denominator, we can directly add the numerators that is 10 plus 3 by 15 gives 13 by 15. Therefore, 2 raised to the power of 2 by 3 times 2 raised to the power of 1 by 5 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5 which is 2 raised to the power of 13 by 15. Now let us move on to the second bit of the question. So the second bit is simplify 1 by 3 raised to the power of 3 whole raised to the power of 7. Here 1 by 3 raised to the power of 3 whole raised to the power of 7 is of the form a by b whole raised to the power of m. As we know a by b whole raised to the power of m is equal to a power m by b power m. We write 1 by 3 raised to the power of 3 whole power 7 as 1 whole power 7 by 3 raised to the power of 3 whole power 7. Here 1 power 7 is 1 by 3 raised to the power of 3 whole raised to the power of 7. So in the denominator we have a power raised to a power. When a power is raised to a power we multiply the exponents. Therefore 1 by 3 raised to the power of 3 whole raised to the power of 7 can be written as 1 by 
3 raised to the power of 3 times 7 since a power m whole power n is written as a power m times n. Therefore, 1 by 3 power 3 times 7 is equal to 1 by 3 power 3 times 7 is 21. As we also know, 1 by a power m can also be written as a power minus m from the law of exponents. Therefore, in the same way, 1 by 3 power 21 is written as 3 power minus 21. Hence, 1 by 3 raised to the power of 3 whole raised to the power of 7 is equal to 3 power minus 21. Now, let us move on to the third bit of the question. So, the third bit is simplify 11 raised to the power of 1 by 2 by 11 raised to the power of 1 by 4. As we know, when we divide two exponents with like basis, we can subtract their powers. That is, 11 to the power of 1 by 2 divided by 11 raised to the power of 1 by 4 can be written as 11 raised to the power of 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. Therefore, now we subtract these powers that is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. Here, we need to obtain a common denominator that is LCM of 2 and 4. LCM of 2 and 4 is 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. Therefore, LCM is 2 times 2 which is equal to 4. So, now we convert 1 by 2 into its equivalent rational number with the common denominator 4 by multiplying with 2 on both the numerator and denominator. So, we obtain 1 times 2 is 2 by 2 times 4 is 4. And 1 by 4 is already with the common denominator 4. Now, we shall subtract the equivalent rational numbers that is 2 by 4 minus 1 by 4. As both the rational numbers have common denominator, we directly subtract their numerators. That is 2 minus 1 by 4 gives 1 by 4. Therefore, 11 raised to the power of 1 by 2 by 11 raised to the power of 1 by 4 is equal to 11 raised to the power of 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 which is 11 raised to the power of 1 by 4. Now, let us move on to the fourth bit of the question. So, the fourth bit is simplify 7 raised to the power of 1 by 2 times 8 raised to the power of 1 by 2. When we multiply two exponents with common powers and different bases, we can directly multiply their bases. That is, a power m times b power m can be written as a times b whole power m that is a b whole power m therefore 7 raised to the power of 1 by 2 times 8 raised to the power of 1 by 2 can be written as 7 times 8 whole raised to the power of 1 by 2 that is 7 times 8 is 56 whole power 1 by 2 therefore 7 raised to the power of 1 by 2 times 8 raised to the power of 1 by 2 is equal to 56 whole raised to the power of 1 by 2.